Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, we're on the uh, fat brakes on my Astro van here. Um, as you may or may not know, I'm actually doing several videos on this again. I do in the front brakes, the rear brakes, and uh, I also had a hole in the tire, so I'm doing a video on a tire plug. So go check those we're out. We're trying to get the uh, drum off of here. And on the other side, this came off with no problem. Now I have taken this off already, but it came off just like this. That was the first time in my life I have ever had a brake drum actually just um, come off. It's moving pretty okay, but this one's definitely a little harder. I've never had one of these come off worth a dang in my life. And basically, the, the only way I've ever wanted to do it, and some probably won't agree with it, is to wrap it with a hammer um, usually around here you'll get some rust but most of it is around the, these areas in here around this center part here so i tend to smack that a few times be careful obviously not to hit your lugs wrap it in the a little bit that just kind of loosens up a lot of the rust I've even gone so far as to throw WD-40 and that kind of stuff on here. We'll see if it doesn't come off fairly easy. I will. Now the next thing, you'll get rust sometimes in other spots where it'll actually just kind of seize to the brake a little bit. Now be careful your uh, pan back here, the, the dust shield. You don't want to be prying on that too much or anything like that. Sometimes you got to get a screwdriver or a pry bar in there and do a little prying. That's part of life. Even professionals do it. I know it. Even if they don't admit to it. But just wrapping on this thing. Not hard. I mean, it's cast metal. It'll it'll break if you hit it in the wrong spot and too hard. But even a little bit in between here. Get anything here nothing and that's when I start turning it and pulling on it a little bit be real careful with this part if it's gonna break this is where it'll break Coming out from under here. I'm gonna grab the big boy here. This is just a big shot mallet here. Okay. Doesn't matter what I hit with it, it shouldn't damage it. Basically, you're just going to kind of beat on this, try and get some of the rust off. And when I start getting more of it, you can, you can tell it's starting to move more. Just not a lot. And I'm just going to do just a little bit of prying. I'm not reefing on anything. Just trying to get things to loosen up more than anything. if you break something I'm not responsible if you break anything doing what I'm doing if you don't like the way I'm doing it don't do it it's my whole deal. <clears throat> boy yes I'm bending a little bit I need that little bit of pressure it hurt. it's just for dust keep dust out and I didn't really even bend it they spring back pretty good Okay, well, just going to keep fighting it 
until it comes off. Of course, the minute I turn the camera off, I mean within seconds, I hit it a couple more times, it popped off. And I know you probably won't believe me, but I did. I just took it and I was pulling on this right here and just doing that. And it just hit that, whatever that piece of rust that was holding it, and it came right off. As soon as I turned the camera off. Of course. Well, YouTube, you can choose to believe me or not, but that's all I did and it came off. Okay, and yes, they need done. These ones are about the same as the ones on the other side, which makes me happy. I don't like seeing uneven wear on one side or the other because usually that means you had a problem. I was a little worried about the other side. I really was because the, the drum just slid right off. I couldn't believe it. Never had that happen in my life. Um, but the wear is almost identical to the wear on these, so we're looking pretty good. Now I know on both of them they look like there's you know quite a bit of nasty grease and grime on here, but it's dry. It's all dry. There's no wetness. If there, if this was wet, really bad wet, and and it was coming off on my hands more than just dust, um, I would be worrying that either I had a bad seal here in the piston area here that pushes out on the the brake shoes, or that maybe I had an axle seal leak there where it was coming out through here and spinning around and getting it all dirty. But it is dry. It, it may look like grease, but it's just dust. It's brake dust. Uh, these wear down and as they wear down pieces of them come off that's where brake dust comes from and and this is what you get uh, so I'm not worried about it everything looks looks real good everything looks like it's supposed to be so we'll go ahead and get on the other side and I'll start showing you how and what to use to take all this stuff okay, off. Okay, and first we'll start with tools here. This is a whole set of tools that is specifically made to do brake drums. Um, uh, the story behind Taiwan these, I got them for free. And it actually says Taiwan on it, a uh, set of tools, so I doubt they paid very much for it. And I'm sure if you went to Harbor Freight, you could probably find a kit that looks a lot like this for not very much money, and it will make your life, I'm sure, a lot easier. But, saying that, there's nothing you can't do with a screwdriver and a pair of vice grips that this drum be, here. So. And uh, we got this right here. And basically, what this is. As you'd come in from back behind the plate here, and there's a you, there's a plug that you'd go through, and with a screwdriver you would take, and you can adjust these tighter, just like that. Only you'd be coming in from the back, and this would turn, and it pushes out, going this direction pushes out, and tightens your brakes up. Uh, what I want to do is actually loosen these brakes up, so I'm going to pull out on this right here. So I'm pulling out on it as I flip you off. Well, you and I'm gonna I went to kind of look at the kit I have for the brakes just to check and see what spring is. Now, you used to pay half the price and you would get the brake shoes all the way around and you would get a whole set of springs in these kits. Uh, used to be that was just how a kit came. And then you would turn your brake shoes back in so that they could recycle them and use them to make new brakes with. Well nowadays, they don't even want those back, so they don't recycle anymore, so throw those in your scrap bin. And you don't get springs, so who knows how many cars are out there where they're reusing these springs over and over again, and springs get sprung after a while, uh, where they don't work as well. And these you know I could probably reuse them but I called because I wanted to make sure that I just didn't end up with a box with no springs and uh, nope on this van you don't get springs with any of the kits you just get the brake shoes but I asked and how much it was to get a kit and it's like six bucks at O'Reilly's so I just out of peace of mind for both sides for six bucks I'm gonna go grab a set of springs and I'll be back I'll be back. I'm back. I got my springs. So, we are going to get going on this. And uh, quite honestly, I've never used one of the, these kind of tools. So, we're going to take this off. And basically, you put that hole right there over the top of this. And on the other side of the spring. And as you twist it around, it should, in theory, take the spring off. But 
we'll see. And it did. That was nice. Now this one here, on a lot of these, would be up here too, but for some reason it's on here. And I don't know, you're not going to probably do the... Oh, well, yeah, hey. I took that off fairly easy too. And it's got on the other end the tool for putting them on. I'll show you that. Now you can always use a screwdriver and do basically the same. spring right here, a little cap that goes over the top of a spring. And that you push it in and twist it with this little tool here. Or do it again. Got a set of vice grips here. You can take that, put it in there, push it, twist it. And at some point, there's a slot which I will show you when I get it off. This pin goes through the backing plate, and that's I was holding that in with my finger. And then in the front, you have the spring here, and then you got this little clip here. And as you can see, it's got kind of an X pattern, but there's one side slotted, and then one point's grooved. So hopefully, you can see this. And that's built up with cake and cr other crap too so it was a little bit difficult to get off anyhow so that's on there like that you twist it and then it put this little groove here hopefully this is making any sense goes through the little hole there but when you twist it this way then the little this edge here and here hold into that so that just basically holds pressure on here. So that's where that was right there. And then on this side, there's another one on that side. So I need to get that one out. Does it exactly the same way. And then we'll start working on getting it off. All right, so I took the spring out of that side, took the spring out of this side. Both these springs are off here. That should pretty much. I'm gonna go ahead and take these springs off of here. Just remember there's holes that are being used and holes that aren't being used inside these shoes here. So pay attention to what holes things go in. And I'm going to take this spring that goes on this side and set it on that side. So I kind of know which springs go to which areas. I've got everything from right and left on the right and left side. So I know. Now, pretty much... Well, this came off of this side, so there is a spring down on the bottom, and I need to get this off of here. It's not really a spring, but it's hooked to what appears to be the adjuster for the brakes. Um, I should be able to, in theory, maneuver this around until this comes off of here, but it's not wanting to. Sometimes you just got to kind of figure things out. Now, be careful because there's down here, there's a little fork and it goes in between the two. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Now, one side has a spring on it and one side doesn't. And I can see where they actually go in at. So I'm going to put this, since it goes in between the two, it's going to go right below it in the center. I'm just going to take this side off here. There's a Oh, there we go. Hopefully you can see this. So this whole thing's just coming apart. There's a spring connecting the two on the bottom. And I really, really just need to unhook this from here is all I need to do. But it doesn't seem to want to. There we go. Okay. Okay, now that is hooked to the e-brake down on the bottom down here. Okay, so I'm going to try and show that. A little closer to you. I hope you can see this. Now, on this side anyway, here's how that goes. Uh, this would just go up and around here. But the e brake is hooked right here to this lever that goes here. Okay, and that just came out right there. Okay, so right here, there's a little groove. And it hooks to right here in 
and there's a little hole inside this brake. Now we got the bottom half here and this this thing here went up and around where that upper spring was hooked up in here so and it hooks to this brake adjuster right here and then we got all this crap on the bottom down here now basically that is your adjuster that adjusts back and forth this normally is sitting right over the top of this right here so we got a spring hooked here and here on the bottom we're going to go ahead and pull apart until we can get this adjuster off of here there we go and unhook that spring right there now i'm putting the brake that goes on the right hand side on the right hand side and the brake goes on the left hand side on the left hand side and the adjuster that goes in between the two is going below the piece that I have here. So I'm going to kind of clean this up, take a look at things. I'll give you an idea of what I have down on the ground down here as well. Underneath there, grab some brake clean and brake clean the crap out of it. Just went to town on it with a toothbrush and some rags. Clean this all up here, the uh, emergency brake cable mechanism there. And now it's time to start putting this thing back together. So I'm laying these out. I've got the brakes. It looks like the brake shoes are the same. They're all four of them are the same. All right, YouTube, confession time. Um, I just made that video on doing the brakes and I realized I actually screwed up and I gave you some wrong information so I'm going to everything I said it. was correct the one thing that's not and when I went over to the other side to try and uh, put the brake drums on it or brake shoes not drums sorry on it I could not get the uh, brake drum back on I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on so I took the old brakes and I kind of looked started looking I at said them more. that they were both the same I was incorrect. One side has a larger abrasive on it. It goes all the way from one end to the other. And one side has a short one. See how there's a big spot down on the bottom of that and bigger up there? Short one. So on the other side I have uh, both big ones on there so even adjusting it all the way down as far as it will go I could not get the drum on there. On this side, I put both of the um, large or small ones on, so I could get the brake drum on that one to adjust and and go out. But now I know I'm going to have to redo the whole thing all over again. So when I tell you that both of these are the same, I'm going to then splice this in and tell you they're not. Uh, but everything else does apply. The springs go in the places I put them everything works everything's fine i'm going to have to tear apart the other side now and the actually the larger brake shoe goes on the back side towards the back of the car and the shorter one goes towards the front of the car just so you know that is how it goes um but everything else all in all is is what i tell you that spring which is right there uh, the brake obviously this which is this stuff here the white spring going across the bottom down here which is this spring here and I put this on here just because it's gonna go this is what you adjust it pushes these the bottom in and out so that tightens and loosens your brakes that you don't get a new one of those um, so you got to reuse yours just clean it up reuse it and the blue spring which I might have already showed you, which is goes across the top there, and then obviously these pieces and the new pin here. So that's this whole side over here in the middle, uh, which in the middle too you have this piece here that goes across, which you don't you have to reuse yours, and then it has a spring there. Now this is the ultimate reason why you wait and do one side at a time. When this came out, it kind of fell out, and I didn't know exactly which direction this went. Went so the spring is on this side and the bump right here uh, is towards the outside 
that side. So uh, I had to go over to the other side and just kind of make sure. Now we got this side over here. Now this one is a little more involved. We got, you know, this spring here which hooks to this, which is in the kit here. As you can see, so we got that. So that's going to go right here. Okay. But now this, we got to reuse this arm. So I'm going to have to figure out how to we take that We got this off. piece here. And it just popped right out of the brake. And it's got the little piece here that, that pops out. You put a new one in here. And then st sticking out of the back is where that kind of sticks down in the hole down here. You got this piece, which hooks onto there. and goes up, which you got to reuse. And then you got this green green. Boy, I can say green uh, spring that goes in here and then it, everything flies apart anyway like that so we got all those pieces now the next view we have is that piece that goes with that and that so we got the white screen uh, spring right here which goes into the second hole down which is the same as the blue one here that's going to go up and it's going to attach to this piece here and then again we have this piece that goes here here and another one of these pins here which I'm going to make sure that I got the right one. Yeah, I went and got this brand new spring kit. It does not come with these brakes. You have to actually uh, get that, at least at O'Reilly's. Uh, it's a $6 box of springs. All right. And there's kind of a skyward picture of how kind of everything is going to sit inside this whole setup. The bottom, I put that. the adjuster and the spring on the bottom like that. And actually, when I showed you the picture, I had the spring going the wrong way because it was hitting this. So... Uh, I made a mistake there, but so from the picture I showed you before, the spring needs to turn some. And then we got to get this brake piece in here, and it just slides in the top of this right here. And all that is going to kind of go around there. So far, so good. That should hold right there for now. And then. I'm going to take this piece here and it needs to go this direction. So I'm going to slide it in here. And it lines up with that. And this right here. And that's going to be the probably one of the more hard parts to this whole job is keeping this in here and getting it where it needs to be. Hopefully that stays well. Okay, then I'm going to put these pieces in. Oh, and you know what? I'm not, I was kind of stupid. This piece goes on the other side. I forget, I got to do a whole nother side here. Uh, so there is only one on this side. I'm glad I thought about that. That would have really sucked. And... It's got to go in this piece first, so I'm already making all kinds of mistakes here, but uh, that's part of doing this. And I'm going to stick that in here. I'm going to grab the spring and try and put it in here. Okay, so far, so good. Then we have this piece here. You know what, actually now that I have that in there, I'm going to put these pieces in, these pieces here. And those, you take the pin, stick it through the back, and then you gotta find where this goes. Oh, good. gotta put the spring on first. Then this piece here. Now this, you wanna make sure that you line up so that when you push on it, it's going to go through that hole. Now yet again, I got the little tool here. I'm going to go ahead and use it for this part. You can use all oh, that. Putting these on, this tool definitely helps. Taking them off, not so much, but putting them on definitely helps. 
Alright, that's there, that's there. This is going to have to go down and over here, but that'll have to wait. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, do that to this side over here. And I didn't put gloves on, but I am getting fairly dirty. I will try and keep my hands off of the brake pads because the oils from your hands can really kind of mess up your brake pads. I gotta say, I'm not impressed with these brake pads. There's not much on them at all. And I don't know if it's just these ones or if they just, they just don't make anything like they used to. They give you half the parts and pieces to put it together. You have to buy the other half. You spend twice as much and you get less quality. I'm not getting it, but such is life nowadays, I guess. And it's partially our fault as a community of people we have chose to make everything the cheapest it possibly can be and I'm getting my hands all over it something just snapped a little bit here I don't know what it was uh, back to what I was saying we tend to want everything as cheaply as possible and dang whether we get quality or not. All right, now we got this piece here. It goes around that little lever and I went the wrong way, of course. All right, got that on. there we go. Just do it by hand. I was trying too hard. And forcing things to go further than they needed to. Okay, now I'll make sure that that's working the way it's supposed to, which it seems to be. And this piece back here seems to be doing all right. That seems to be all right. That's pushing. It's another thing, you need to make sure that the uh, piston that pushes these out is in the right spot. Okay, now we got that. I'm going ahead and putting the spring on over here. It goes in the second hole down. I'm putting the blue str spring on now. Watch your fingers, because this will bite you if you get it in the wrong spot and it doesn't go. There we go. That popped on that round. That did take me a couple tries to do that though. Okay. So now we got the white spring. It also goes in this second hole and it goes onto this thing here. This may be a little bit more dicey because technically this is not made for this part so much. So keep your hands out of the way and hope it goes where it's supposed to go. And it did. All right. And yet again, this is one of, I mean, one of the harder jobs as far as brake work. I mean, this is way harder than doing your disc brakes, but it's not horrible. You just got to take it a piece at a time and make sure you put all the springs in the right places, put all the parts in the right places, and then there is kind of an order. You got to remember that this spring came off first from here, so it's got to go on last from here. This spring went on to this and not up here. I mean, you just got to kind of remember all Technically that. Technically self-adjusting brakes, usually newer, well, so-called newer cars in the 90s and stuff they made their brakes adjustable where you can they'll either adjust every time you hit the brakes or uh, some of them you have to drive in reverse for a while and hit the brakes and that'll adjust them now when you're adjusting the brakes you want to kind of hear the clicking noise if you don't hear that clicking noise you got something wrong here um, this is a screwdriver 
and adjust it out. Now you can put the dirt brake drum on here and back up and go forward and hit the brakes and hope everything adjusts right. But the best thing to do is we'll clean up this brake drum real good. And I'm going to clean up all this with some brake clean as well. And uh, then I'm going to adjust these out. I'm actually going to adjust them out a little ways anyways first. Um, but anyway, we'll adjust it out. And then I'll put the brake drum on there and kind of feel it and see if it's dragging a little bit. And I'm going to do that until it gets on there and it's almost hard to turn. And then I'll back it off a little ways. And then it won't take very long to adjust. That's kind of how this works. And... Uh, I'll show you turn it and you should hear kind of that scraping noise um, so hopefully these will adjust out good and that should do it since I had the foul up with the brake shoes I'm going to end this one with this is Sam jack of all and obviously master of none y'all have a good one